Have you ever wondered how your favorite app knows exactly what you want or how companies decide which product to launch next? The secret is data and how it is analyzed. Businesses today are flooded with data, but real values lies in making sense of it. And that is why we use data analytics because it turns actionable insights into a meaningful strategies. Hi, I am Prashant. I am a data analytics training consultant at Brilika Services. So today in this video, we'll talk about a friendly introduction of data analytics. But before we jump into the pool of data analytics, let's understand the purpose of it first. Let's say you run a small cafe and you notice fewer customers are coming in your cafe. By using data analytics, we can check daily footfalls, sales by items. You discover that coffee sales are dropped and now you decide to run a small discount on your best-selling coffee and promote it online. That is how data helps you to make informed choices and instead of random changes. So let's talk about what is data analytics. Data analytics is the process of collecting, organizing and analyzing data to find useful information. It helps identify patterns, trend and relationships enabling businesses and individuals to understand what is happening and why. With these insights, smarter, faster and more confident decisions can be made. In short, data analytics turns raw data into meaningful actions. It is widely used across sectors like retail, healthcare, finance and IT. Let's understand the steps of data analytics. Number one is collection of data. Number two, transformation of data. Number three, analyzing of data. Number four, visualization of data. Number five, decision making. Let's understand each steps one by one. In collection of data, we gather data from various sources like Excel, CSP, Web, SQL Server, Cloud Services, etc. In the process of transformation, we remove null values, remove errors and organize our data. Other than that, we also perform pivoting, unpivoting, creating custom columns, invoke functions, etc. In the process of analyzing the data, we explore the data and find hidden patterns and trends inside the data. In the visualization of data, we present finding using charts and graph. So basically, it's a phase where we can say that our data is converted into the graphical representation of a data. So once the data is converted into a graphs and charts, we can take better decisions for business growth. Let's talk about the types of data analytics. Number one is descriptive analytics. Number two is predictive analytics. Number three is diagnostic analytics. Number four is prescriptive analytics. Let's talk about one by one each of them. In descriptive analytics, we talk about the historical data. What happened? And we summarize the past data. Example, sales increased 50% in June. In predictive analytics, we predict the futures that what might happen. We forecast future trends. Example, predicting customer likely to stop buying. In diagnostic analytics, we figure out that why did it happen, explores causes, example sales dropped due to out of stock of product. In prescriptive analytics, we perform that what should be done, recommends action, example targeted discounts to retain custom. So these are the four types of data analytics. Let's understand the tools used in data analytics. Each tool plays a crucial role from cleaning to analyzing and visualizing the data. Choosing the right tool depends on the problem and depth of analysis required. Let's talk about the first tool is Excel. Excel is the basic foundation of data analytics. It helps entering, organizing, storing small to medium data set using formulas to calculate totals, average, growth rates. We can also create pivot tables for summarizing the data, applying filters and conditional formatting, building basic charts like bar chart, pie chart, line chart. In Power BI, Power BI we can say it's an advanced version of Microsoft SQL. In Power BI, we can connect various data sources like Excel, Server, Cloud Services. We can build interactive dashboards and reports. We can create the tax formulas for custom calculations. We can also work on the time intelligence functions using DAX formulas. With the help of time intelligence functions, we can create real-time visuals for business performance. We can also share dashboards, reports with teams and clients. In Tableau, we can create interactive charts and dashboards, smooth performance. Tableau is used to handle the large data sets using filters and controls for user-driven reports, designing beautiful data stories with visuals. If we talk about the SQL, SQL is a very important language in terms of data analytics. 
SQL is used to interact with the databases. It helps us to fetching data from a relational databases like MySQL and SQL Server, building rows using conditions, joining multiple tables for complete view, grouping and summarizing the data for better analysis. At last, we talk about Python. Python is used to cleaning messy or unstructured data. Also, it helps to perform scientific and numerical computations and with all these libraries, we can perform these calculations like Pandas, NumPy. We can also create custom visuals with the help of Matplotlib and Cbo. Python also help us to automate the repetitive task and also we can build the prediction models in Python. So now we talk about the summary of data analytics, why it matters. Data analytics is the backbone of small business today. It helps transform raw data into actionable insights, enabling data-driven decisions that improve strategies and outcomes. Whether you are a beginner or a professional, mastering data analytics opens door to better understanding and growth in data-driven world. I hope you have enjoyed this small introductory video of data analytics. Thank you for watching this video. Brilika Services wish you a very all the best in your learning channel.